Hi everyone, this is Raju from Smart AI Technology. Today we will see what is the exact working of random forest with equations. We will apply that equation on your data set and we will get the result. We will we'll, uh, see entire working, okay, complete working from data set to the result. So before moving uh, there, we will see what is ensembling. Because we know that random forest is an ensembler of multiple decision trees. So what are different types of ensembler are there and in which category does our random forest belongs to okay so what actually random forest is uh, random forest will contain multiple number of decision trees so in the end mag if what that maximum number of decision trees will give the result for example if i have 100 decision trees okay from that if 60 decision trees are giving one result and 40 decision trees are giving some other result, I always go with 60 decision trees. Okay. So the result of 60 decision trees will be taken as the main result. Okay. So before doing that, we will see what is ensembling. Okay. So there are two things in ensembler. One is bagging and another one is boosting. So when it comes to bagging, uh, if I have a data set, say in my case I have a fraud detection data set okay credit card fraud detection data set i have say around 1000 columns so sorry 1000 rows in my case i will uh, consider three columns one is id transaction id amount okay what is the amount they are transacted and third one is whether it's fraud or real that is label okay label so one two three okay amount say uh, per day okay maybe the this uh, transaction was thousand okay normally that id okay this id transaction was actually two thousand this id transaction was say four thousand and the label this was actually fraud two thousand was fraud one thousand was uh, good okay so g and uh, four thousand was good this is a data that we are having so like this if we will be having 1000 rows okay? assume that we have 1000 rows so now normally we will be having multiple columns that i know but as we want to analyze using equation it's very hard to go with multi-dimensional but i will let you know how we can move with multi-dimensional data also but for now we will consider only one column that is amount of transaction okay uh, so now initially what we will do is we can split this uh, one data set of 1000 into 10 subsets okay and we can fit to 10 different decision tree models that's what we are doing so this random forest comes under bagging in bagging what we will do we will split the whole bigger data set into smaller data sets we will give that to different models and finally we will decide the result based on the maximum uh, maximum value from the models so then comes the boosting what is the difference uh, between boosting and bagging is in boosting what we will do is we will give this data set to a model one so once this model learns this will try to reduce the error okay, and it will create a data this reduced error data data two you can say data one will be the original data set and then what this uh, reduce error reduce data will be fed to our model 2 okay and then this model 2 will try to reduce the error and again create a data data 3 this data 3 will be given to a model m3 like this it will continuously going to reduce the error in the end it will going to give us the result so this type of modeling we call it as a you know, boosting ensembling technique okay xd boost is one of the example okay XG boost is a boosting model. So uh, till now we understood what is bagging and what is boosting ensembler and we got to know that our random forest belongs to bagging technique. So now we will we'll, uh, solve this equation with equation how actually this random forest works. First, we will consider a piece of data.
this will be id column this will be amount column okay. and this will say as label okay this is a label column so let us consider this this is having 100 200 uh, next is 250 yeah i understand my drawing is not so much good because i am doing uh, it with mouse uh, okay so 400 and then comes 300 so this transaction say it was fraud this transaction was good this transaction was fraud uh, this was actually good and this was false this is my data set actually i am having only one column in example but i will say i will let you know in the end okay how we can work with multiple columns at once okay how you can calculate how you can understand the working of it okay, with equation so let it be data set here i will create new page okay. here we can write equation very easily so this is our data so when it comes to random forest the basic unit is decision tree so how decision tree is, can be built and what are the basic uh, elements that we need actually the main condition we call it as a root node the main road uh, root node okay this we call it as a root node where it will be having one condition any random condition and after that it will split into multiple ways okay it can it can split in multiple uh, times it can split into multiple times based on our data okay, that we will see how we will split how we will decide okay then in the end we will come to one uh, one level where we can't split from there okay that will be end okay we call these nodes end nodes as a leaf nodes leaf nodes and what are these middle nodes all of them we call them as a decision nodes for till here okay, all of them we call it as a we call them as a decision nodes this is a basic structure of decision tree so now what we need to know is how we will build decision tree for our data set so here i will build it using this data set okay so first what is the root node here in the root node you can give any condition at the starting condition because as i mentioned you decision tree is multiple uh, sorry random forest is collection of multiple decision trees initial condition will change for all decision trees for now what i will say uh, for example uh, that amount amount amt uh, greater than 200 i say okay this is my initial condition i'm i'm just telling the root node okay just uh, classify or divert the data into two classes where amount is greater than 200 so i will be having two chances now one is positive side okay where which obeys this rule that is amount is greater than 200 and another one will be negative side so in the positive side you can see in the data side greater than 200 what are the things are there id 3 4 5 these three ids are having more than three uh, 200 amount so my ids are three four five so in this case it will be one and two now uh, this three id what is the three id actually label f is there so three id is having f that is fake transaction and four is having good transaction good and what is what five is having actually five is having again fake so this will be f g f what this one and two are having one and two are having f and g now possibilities okay uh, probabilities probability of say g what is the probability of g here g nothing but uh, if you have multiple chances you can okay what is the probability of presence of g here it is 1 by 3 why because g is having only 1 okay 
f r 2. So, it will be 1 g divided by 1 g plus 2 f. So, what is the probability then? Probability of uh, possibility of g is 1 by 3. What is the probability of f then? What is the probability of probability of f is 2 by 3. 2 f are there divided by total 3 chances are there. In the same way, here what is that? p of g equal to 1 by 2. And what is the p of f equal to 1 by 2? Because 1 g uh, 1 f, 1 g divided by 1 f plus 1 g here 1 g divided by 1 f plus 1 g is 1 by 2. We got p g p f p g p f on both sides. Now what is the thing that we need to do? Why we are uh, uh, getting these uh, probabilities is actually we need to find Gini index. In this direction I can say G1 or in this direction I can say G2. Okay, we should travel in that direction where G is very less. So we need to calculate G1 and G2. What is the formula for that actually? G1 is 1 minus okay, summation of all the pro square of probabilities. For example, here I have two squares, okay, two probabilities. So in my case it will be pg square plus pf square. So it will be g1. So what will be the g1 now? 1 minus pg nothing but 1 by 3 square plus uh, pf nothing but 2 by 3 square. So once you do that you will get g1 value as okay, once you solve that okay you can use calci you will get 0 0.4 5 5 okay you got this value now what is g2 then okay in, in g2 same equation 1 minus square of sum of probabilities 1 by 2 square okay plus 1 by 2 square 2 by 2 square so what will be g2 now our g2 will be 0 0.5 so in which direction our g is very less g1 direction then we will discard this we will close this path okay we will not travel further from here okay we will, we will close this now again i will create new notebook and i will tell you from here how we will move on Now, where we stopped actually this node. What this node is having? So, this node is having 3, 4, 5. So, here I need to again create another condition. So, here we know like these things are greater than 200. Now, I will create another condition and I will say uh, my data is less than 300 okay, or something 300. Okay, again from there, what is my next node will? Next node I will say amount is less than 300. Less than 200 or like the 300, okay. From this, I add actually. So, when amount is uh, less than 300, so here I will also get 2 dividends from this node. From this node, I am continuing where I add 3, 4, 5 because I have 3 options fake, good, or fake. So, which one I should decide, I don't know. So, now I should root from here. So, now amount less than 300, I will be getting which ID is uh, 3 and 5 less than or equal to say, less than or equal. To. 2, 3 and 5 I will be getting here, 4 I will be getting here. What 3 and 5 are having? 3 and 5 are having, um, let us say less than 300, okay, then it will be okay. When less than 300, you will be having, less than 300, you will be having 3. 3, a positive side will be having 3 negative side will be having 4 and 5 
and then what is 3f f what is 4 and 5 good and fake again you need to find gene index say this as g, g3 and g4 you need to find the probability okay here p of f will be 1 p of g will be 0 because there is no g at all here p of g is 1 by 2 p of f is 1 by 2 so once you find a g3 its value will be 0 g4 0.5 so we should move on this direction so when you cancel this out because the gene index was very less g4 was less, uh, great okay g4 was 0 0.5 g3 was less so you will move in this direction so finally we will find you will end up with the only one value okay we call this as a leaf node leaf node okay we will uh, we'll come and uh, come to leaf node and final result is f so we will say whatever the data th that is given that is belongs to fake transaction okay? this is a way of uh, training random forest okay with equations uh, if you have multiple data then what you will do how you will do here when i took okay for example say there is another column which says uh, number of transaction per day okay number of number of transaction per day okay so here it will be maybe 1 10 20 5 6 okay you will here you will create another condition okay comma only not av comma number of transaction nt is less than 4 okay now we will be having two conditions based on these two conditions we will divide we will split the random forest data okay now you will find out the gene index then you will uh, come to leaf node and you will decide that this is the entire random forest working uh, that you can do calculation and you will understand the process okay if you want to apply this on your data set we will use maybe um, at maximum we will go with scikit-learn okay scikit-learn that is a python library which is available from scikit-learn you will import this random forest you will, you will implement it okay there are so many hyper, hyper parameters that you can play with and you can get their good results this was all about today's class thank you thank you very much we will see you in the next class if you like this video just like and subscribe